Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. In today's video, I am going to be ranking all the books that I read in 2022. In total, I've read 12 books. That is a lot less than what I normally read in a year, but I think this was a good reading year to get myself back into the swing of reading because I had stopped reading for a significant amount of time. So I would say 12 books is a good number to land on. Now, some of the books that I'm going to show you I've gotten from Book of the Month. You've heard me talk about this before if you have been watching my channel. And if you enjoy my content, please click that subscribe button. Remember to turn on that notification bell so you can know each and every time that I upload. So Book of the Month is a book subscription service where you get to choose from a selection of curated books, sometimes between the number of five books to seven books, and you get to choose one hardcover book a month for the price of $16.95. You can also add on an additional two books for the price of $16.95. But if you are a friend of Book of the Month, which you have to be with Book of the Month to become a friend, you get a whole set of new perks and your add-on books will cost you $10.95. And if you spend a whole year with Book of the Month, so you get more additional perks. I have not reached BFF level, but I am a friend. So right now, my add-on books cost me $10.95. But I will have a, res a referral link in my description box for Book of the Month that allows you to get your first month of Book of the Month for $9.99. And from this referral link, I get to pick out a book from Book of the Month. So today we're going to talk about all the books I've read and I'm going to rank them from worst book to best book. Some of the books come from Book of the Month, some of them come from Amazon. But I'm pretty sure all of these books you can find on Amazon, you can find them at Barnes & Noble, or wherever you shop for books. None of these books are technically really, really bad to where I wouldn't recommend them. I would recommend every book that I'm going to talk about today, but there are more books that I would recommend more over the others. So we're gonna start with book number 12. This is my worst book of the year. This is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. <clears throat> this book I ranked three stars. I ranked this book three stars because I was bored. And it took me twice to read this book. The first time I read the book, I got to chapter three and was like, I'm bored. And I put it away and start picking up other things. And then I was like, no, I bought the book. I'm going to finish it. So this book didn't get good until chapter five. And if you are a STEM type person, this book is about these two enemies have to come together to come up with a product that is backed by the NIH and NASA. And they end up falling in love because they're talking to each other about how they're working with their enemy, but they don't know they're talking to each other because of their Twitter handles. So they don't even realize they're talking to each other about each other and how much they dislike each other, but they grow to like each other because the man in the story, Levi, he's always sticking up for B. Kilawasa because she's a woman and he they're trying to change how women in STEM are treated. So it is a good romance book. There is a plot twist in this book that I did not see coming. I will not spoil that for you, but I did rank this three stars because it didn't get good till chapter five and I thought it took way too long. But the plot twist in here is amazing. Our book number 11 is by Book number 11 is by Colleen Hoover. It's Maybe Not. This 
is a novella which is a short story based off of a character from the Maybe Someday series. This is book number two in the Someday series. This is a very quick read. It's only a hundred pages and this book explains a lot about a character in Maybe Someday named Warren and then the girl that Warren likes named Bridget. To understand why she's so mean you have to read this and you to understand why Warren the way he is the way he is you have to read this book. But this is a part of a three book series called Maybe Someday and this was rated four stars. Book number 10 is Maybe Now. This is the last book in the Someday Maybe series by Colleen Hoover. This book I rated four stars because I love the happy ending and I like how Maggie and all the characters like Ridge, Maggie, Bridget, Ridge and Sydney all grew from the very first book to the last book and there were a lot of sweet moments in, in this book and it's about determination how when you fall or you have a medical condition or you were born with a disability you don't let that stop you you just keep living your life and you can also be in a love loving happy relationship so this was rated four stars and this book is a multiple point of view book so in this book you get one chapter of Maggie, you get one chapter of Sydney, you get one chapter of Ridge, and a new character that was introduced in this book named Jake. So you get multiple viewpoints about the same story and I think that is so cool. Book number nine is the Selection series. This book is called The Selection. It's a by Kiara Cass. This is a part of a six book series. This is the very first book in the Selection series. It's actually called The Selection. This book is about America. She lives in a country called Ilia and the prince of the country, his name is Maxim and he is looking for a wife. So he invites 35 girls through this selection process to compete to become his wife and the thing about America is that she doesn't want to do it because she's in love with a guy named Aspen but the thing about Aspen there's a whole caste system in the selection and America is a five which is not the best cast but it's also not the worst cast. She's basically three from the bottom and Aspen is a six so Aspen is worse off than America but she loves him and that's why she doesn't want to join the selection but then she and her parents decide that it would be best for America to join this election and that's how you find out how that plays out in this book. The next book is from book of the month. This was actually my first book of the month which was in the month of July. This is called The Bodyguard. It is by Catherine Center. This book is about a actor that hasn't been acting in two years because of a family tragedy but now that his mom is sick he needs to go visit her but he can't go without security because he has a stalker. So he hires a bodyguard that he ends up falling for but both of them have traumatic past because both of them are traumatized by two different deaths. The bodyguard loses her mother and the actor loses his brother and their grief plays a part into either one of them being able to do their job and how their grief affects them in their everyday life and even trying to keep up this fake relationship is very difficult because he doesn't even want his family to know he has a stalker so the bodyguard pretends to be his girlfriend. The next book 
is maybe someday maybe someday is by colleen hoover which this is the first book in the maybe someday series this book is a duo point of view where you get sydney's point of view and bridges point of view the book starts out with sydney living with her boyfriend but then she finds out that her best friend and her boyfriend have been sleeping together. So she leaves, has nowhere to go. And then the guy that lives across the street, his name is Ridge. He is deaf. He lets Sydney move in with him. But Ridge has a girlfriend named Maggie. Ridge starts falling for Sydney because she's into music and Ridge is a musician. He plays the guitar and he feels like Sydney makes him a better person and helps him with his music and that's how they fall in love. But there's more to this story and how many plot twists and changes there are in this book. It's a good read. It will make you cry a lot. It will make you emotional. It will even make you angry because of how Sydney and Ridge got together. But then you understand what it's like when you fall in love with somebody that makes you better and pushes you to do better. But then you feel bad for Maggie once you hear Maggie's story. It's an emotional roller coaster. Our next book is the second book in the selection series. It is by Kiera Cast. It is called The Elite. The Elite is a very, very action-packed book because there's a tax on the castle and why the rebels and all the people that are attacking the palace don't want this selection process to happen. You really see America starting to fall for Maxim even though she doesn't want to. Then her longtime love of Aspen comes in to return. Now he's working for the palace and the whole love triangle start. And then she's wondering why this girl named Cecily don't like her. Her best friend that she met during the selection process. Her name is Marley. She gets in trouble. It's a whole action pack thing. Our next book is the One. The One is a part of the third book in the selection series. It's also by Kiara Cast. This is where you find out who Maxim chooses. He crowns his wife. He gets married. But leading up to trying to choose who is going to be his wife, he still got the whole love triangle with American Aspen. He has this other girl, Chris, that only wants to be with him because she's a part of the rebels that are trying to get things to change in the palace, but he doesn't realize that. But America knows that. America's father passes away, and I will not tell you who he chooses. You will have to read about that for yourself. Our next book is where it starts with us. This is a part of a two book series that is also by Colleen Hoover. This came out this year. It is the sequel to It Ends With Us. And this book makes me happy. Extremely, extremely happy. To see where Lily was in It Ends With Us to where she got to in It Starts With Us. The growth of Lily and the other character Atlas is phenomenal and this was a sweet way to end this book series. I love it. It is so good. So if you want to read this series, read It Ends With Us first, then read It Starts With Us. Lily and Atlas were teenagers. They both had traumatizing past. Lily now has a child by her ex-husband and now that her and her ex-husband has broken up, she runs and back to her teenage love and they try to be together but the husband is not happy. The ex-husband is not happy about that but it ends in a beautiful way. Now we're getting into the top three books that I've read this year <laughs> and Two of them are Colleen Hoover and one is by Julian Medoff. Okay, our next book, our third place book here is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. This book 
I felt all type. I was angry reading most of this book. I was angry and sad because this book is a duo point of view and it's about Morgan and her daughter. It's about Morgan and her daughter Clara. The book starts off as Morgan being a teenager. She has this boyfriend name. I'm blanking on his name. Her husband name is Chris. I, I don't know why I blanked on that. <laughs> So we have Morgan, her boyfriend Chris, her sister Jenny, and Jenny boyfriend who name is Jonah. Now there are four of them and at the end of their high school years, Morgan finds out she's pregnant and her and Chris get married. And then in chapter two, we skip 17 years later and there's a tragic accident with Chris and her sister Jenny being in a car accident and they both pass away. But they also find out, Morgan finds out that Jenny and her husband have been in this secret relationship and that they've been cheating with each other. But Jenny also has a baby by Jonah years later and their baby's only nine months old. But then they wonder if it's Chris's baby and not Jonah. So it's interesting how they play it out. And the daughter thinks that Morgan and Jonah have been sneaking around but when it's really her aunt and her father. So it's definitely a love story but a sad one to find out that your husband and your sister have been sneaking around with each other but it's a very good read that's why i was angry and sad at the same time because i'm like i don't know if i would handle this situation with as much grace and as poise as morgan tried to handle this situation and if you wonder why the cover looks like this there's a reason for it the cover looks like this the reason why it's like that is explained in the book Okay, we're down to our last two books. And I had a very hard time choosing what was my number one choice and what was my second choice. Now, there are trigger warnings for both of the top two choices. So please check them out before reading the book because they are heavy, heavy, heavy topics. So when I talk about these books, I will be abbreviating abbreviating certain things just because of the platform <sighs> okay book number two is it ends with us by colleen hoover it ends with us is about lily lily has a traumatic childhood and throughout the book you get lily's diary entries from when she was a child and her parents used to argue a lot and things used to get physical with her dad and her mom. So that's Lily's trauma. And as she grew up, she met this guy named Atlas. He was homeless when they were in high school. They fell in love, but Atlas ended up walking away from Lily to go in the military to create himself a better life because his parents traumatized him too by making him get out of the home before he was even an adult but it picks up to where lily moves to boston when she's done with college and she meets this neurosurgeon named ryle she opens up a flower shop ryle's sister named Elisa starts working for her. Ryle and Lily have this whirlwind romance. They end up falling in love, getting married in Vegas, but then their romance takes a turn and Lily finds herself in the same situation that she watched her parents go through. So those parts of the book a very very heavy very very deep so if you have traumatic experiences please read the trigger warnings because you'll be like oh my gosh so as lily finds herself in the same situation as her parents did when she was younger she's trying to debate if she's going to get out she runs into atlas 
comes to find out Atlas is doing great. He owns two restaurants, but she has to find a way to get away from Ryle. But the thing is, she finds herself pregnant and that changes her and Ryle's relationship. It's a good read, but a heavy read. That's why it's in the number two spot. I cry every time I think about this book. Like, I want to cry on camera right now because I'm thinking about this book and I'm telling you about it, but I will not. So, our number one book, the best book that I've read in 2022, and my award goes to When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Madoff. This book is a psychological thriller, which I don't normally read. And I wanna cry thinking about this book too. But this was a book that had so many twists and turns, and I'm gonna have to abbreviate a lot of things that I say because there are many trigger warnings for this. But we meet Cassandra. Cassandra, and all the books just fell on the floor. If you wonder what that was, I'll pick them up later. Cassandra, we meet her. She is a college student. She's a part of this rich family. She has two brothers, an older brother and a younger brother. She's in the middle. But Cassandra is adopted and she comes from a wealthy family. The family she was born into was wealthy. The family that adopted her was also wealthy. She has this guy that she's been dating since she was a teenager. His name is Marcus. And she breaks off her relationship with Marcus for a lot of reasons I cannot mention on this platform. But just know there is a good reason. And then all of a sudden her brother who goes to Princeton, her baby brother, is accused of doing something to his girlfriend. So now there's a big court case that has to play out the brothers on trial. The family believes he's innocent and that the girl's just doing this because they broken up. Okay guys, I am back. We were on talking about our last book, but my camera had reached its recording limit so our my number one choice is when we were bright and beautiful by jillian meadow this book i would say please read the content warning before you decide to read this book because this book is heavy now i'll give you one clue to what this book is about because i can't actually say the word on this platform but when you think of this book, the first thing that's going to come to your mind is the Me Too movement. So, with that being said, we meet Cassandra. Cassandra is a college student. She's wealthy. She was adopted into a wealthy family. But her birth family also was wealthy. Her mother passed away. Her birth mother passed away in her birth father passed away as well so she was no more than about five when she lost both of her parents and this family that her family were close to took her in so now she has an older brother she's in the middle and a younger brother she gets caught up in this relationship with this guy named Marcus. She cuts things off with Marcus, but then Marcus ends up turning back around and be like, we can be together or something. But the biggest thing in this book is the trial because Cassandra's brother, her baby brother who goes to Princeton, he's an Ivy League school athlete. He's on the track team. He was accused of we're just going to call it R because I can't say the word on the platform. We're going to call it R. He pleads not guilty. The family feels like 
the girl's only doing this because they broke up. But the trial brings out family secrets that were never ever supposed to come out. I won't tell you how the trial ends or who did what was anybody convicted or anything like that. I will not tell you that. But I tell you when you read this book you're going to be like I did not see that coming and who and the question becomes who is Marcus and the brother you, you kind of wonder did he really do it did he not the whole time until the judgment or the verdict is laid out and it's all about creating reasonable depth if you know anything about court cases and all of that what I just said will make sense. So this was my number one choice. It was definitely hard to give first place. First place and second place was just like too hard to come up with. I could rank the rest of them, but first and second place was like, do I give it to it ends with us or do I give it to it when it was bright and beautiful? And when I think back, even though it ends with us had a lot of drama and I liked all of that and what the story stood for, about breaking generational curses and all of that. This psychological thriller was amazing because of the court case and how the family dynamics have always been strained but then it changed because of a court case and then it makes you think how could all of this go on for so long and everybody ignored it? It's a thing. But both books will make you cry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how many books you read this year. What was the worst book you read this year? And what was the best book? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember I'm always thinking of you. Sending my love and bye for now.